Hello and welcome to the Machinist News Network. I'm Deirdre Kanievsky. In a cross-country sweep, the machinists joined the International Union of Painters and Allied Trades with a message for the world. It's time to get America working again. For the machinists and the painters, the answer to bringing back America is simple. It's jobs. You see, all good things in America begin with jobs. And that's why we need more of them. And few people know that better than the machinists who work at Boeing. That's why, with the help of the painters, the men and women of Local Lodge 751 are doing all they can to make sure this election is good for working America. I think it's time that we take a hard look of those that we've supported in the past and really take a look at those we need to support in the future. It's not about R's and D's. It's about people that really care about working men and women. One such candidate Labor is working to keep in office is U.S. Senator Patty Murray. After the fight she put up to keep Boeing's work in Seattle, no one in this room has to wonder which Washington she's working for. Let's send a dual-edged message when we re-elect re Patty Murray that those tanker jobs belong in the state of Washington. They belong with the finest aerospace workers in the world, bar none. And our government needs to recognize that the jobs we have in Washington are jobs for America that we need. When the Pentagon trying to send Washington State aerospace jobs overseas by awarding that next tanker contract to Airbus, I said, not on my watch. Murray is the type of politician that organized labor wants to keep in D.C. And with rallies like this one that are happening across the country, Working America is making sure their voice is heard. I vowed that greedy corporate CEOs and wealthy Wall Street bankers would never again put our state and our country in a position to lose millions of jobs and homes and pensions. And that is exactly why I worked so hard to pass a strong Wall Street reform bill so that you are never left holding the bag again for their errors and mistakes. But there's change happening everywhere, not just at Boeing in Seattle. Each time the machinists and the painters board the bus, the message of jobs now is going with them, and politicians are listening. I believe the single greatest challenge confronting America is the creation of family wage jobs and getting this economy moving again, and that's why I'm running for the United States Congress. But in this election cycle, the jobs message isn't just for Congress. It's being spread from the national all the way to the local level in cities across the country. Vancouver, Washington is just one more American city where labor is making sure the right people are in charge. The goal to me is, it should be every one of us, the goal is a family waste job for everybody. That should be the goal. We've looked at the numbers and we know that if we can get those votes from the countertops to the ballot, um, we'll win. We know that. Many here believe that creating family wage jobs is the civil rights issue of our time. Give a person a good job, and you give them something for life. And you give them the most precious possession, the possession they'll ever have. Because with that good job comes all the good things we love in this country. And that's why labor has to do its part. We need to get out, reach out to our brothers and sister members, to our neighbors, to our aunts and uncles, to everyone that we can to get their support, to get out and get out people to vote. We need people to vote. We need them to vote for the right reasons. We need them to vote for our candidates. It has to be done. The same story is being told in every American city. Whether from the Firefighters Hall or the IBEW, organized labor is making sure these jobs are here for the next generation. In Portland, the reason why organized labor worked so hard was standing right in front of them. But she's what it's all about. This little girl's depending on us. She's depending on us to make the fight and to win the fight so that she's got a future. The results of a good union job are obvious. It created the middle class, giving a generation of people a life better than the generation before. Just look at the workers at Western Star in Portland. 
union members from every walk of life who gathered to show their strength and solidarity in getting the message out that Jobs Now, here in the USA, is the only answer in bringing America back. My plant, General Electric, Albuquerque, New Mexico, closes in 22 days. 400 union jobs that have been there for seven decades will no longer be there. And it's because of the policies that have been in place for the last 15 years. It's not about foreign workers. It's about United States of America workers. I'm tired of seeing fear in the eyes of America's workers. I'm tired of seeing uncertainty. And if we're tired of all of this, then we can do something about it. And since Labor Day, the painters and the machinists have been doing something about it by spreading the jobs message across the country. In fact, today they are still on the road, and we'll bring you more on the tour next week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Machinist News Network.